right next to the USC campus. We're in Los Angeles, California, and today should be a good one, folks. This coin toss presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Both teams are on the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. USC's offense, a lot of times they can spread things out, and they can really be versatile offensively. But when you've got a wide receiver like this, it really helps the cost. Well, it does, and it, and it continues to help with what they're trying to do. They're trying to find matchups. And when you have one player like this that the defense has got to be aware of, they're going to spread you out, try to find a one-on-one -on -one matchup. And if you spend too much time with this one player, they've got some other weapons to make you pay for it. That was a great call. Yeah, here you see the draw play at its best. The tailback got good blocking up front and was able to pick up a bunch of yards. From their own 42-yard line, first down. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. And he's taken down around the 49-yard line. About a seven-yard pickup that time on the pass. Hey, they picked up a nice gain of seven yards on that play. Great pass. He's into the open field. He goes out of bounds at about the 45. Pretty good gain on the play by the halfback. And that shows you why he's such a weapon as a ball carrier. Good gain for the offense. From the 45-yard line, first down. Makes the catch and look out. And he's finally shoved out at the 16. sacked on the play. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. From the 17-yard line, it's second down. didn't sack him the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass if you can get in there and disrupt the pocket then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers quick strike and he drops it number eight was the intended receiver on the play fourth down they'll line it up for the field goal USC could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks up, and it sails through the uprights. They line up to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. Oh, he got nailed on that one. There's a flag down, and it looks like this one's coming back. Personal foul. Clipping. Receiving team. Clipping is the call, and now they'll have to find a way to make up those yards right here. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. He's tackled around the 20-yard line. He gets another set of downs and, more importantly, opens up a whole host of play-calling possibilities for the coaching staff. And they get the sack. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. From their own 19-yard line, second down. Mike 55, Mike 55. 
Five wide. Quick out to his receiver. And they push him out at the 26. That's a gain of seven on the play. That'll bring up third and four. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. That'll make it fourth down, and they're going to have to punt. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down in a punt. And down he goes at the 44-yard line. The defense was able to keep them out of the end zone on their last possession, but the offense did pick up three. USC is up a field goal. He scrambled. He's taken down at the 46. That makes it second and eight. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on their own 46. Let's go, let's go. Here we go, guys. Get to that quickly. And down he goes. Right around the 42-yard line. Getting him the ball in the passing game creates real havoc for the defense. There aren't many linebackers who can stay with him in coverage, that's for sure. at the 35-yard line. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Run left side. Brought down at the 22-yard line. Did you see how much space there was for that tailback up front? He better be thanking his offensive lineman for that. made around the 24-yard line. So the halfback loses about two on the run. That'll bring up second and 12. From the 24-yard line, second down. And they make the stop at the 13. USC is up by three. And he has it on the corner. Pitch is right. Nice run there as they work the outside. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Throws to the receiver, got it for the touchdown. These guys need to be aware this aerial attack is capable of making some big plays. They've got to get on their toes. And he adds the extra point. So an eight-play, 56-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So our score, 10-0. And he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. USC's loving this crowd support, and they get it week in and week out. Well, that's one thing they can count on every single time they play in this stadium is creating an environment that's going to allow them to play with an edge on defense. Great start to this game. Now let's see if they can just continue that. And they got him for a loss. 
That was just a case of one lineman dominating another and making the play. That brings up second and 13. Second and 13. Ball on the 18. Gold after a decent pickup. Tackle. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That'll make it 35. Slings it. He's to the 40. He gets hit out of bounds at the 43-yard line. And that'll put an end to the first quarter of action. The Trojans with a 10-point lead. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Go down, go down. Mike 55, Mike 55. Hey, eat, 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 eat. Yeah. Ah. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That's good for a gain of four yards. That brings up second and five. Quads, quads, quads. Now here's the line, here's the line. He's scrambling. Now he's going to run and watch out. He dives, and he'll be marked down. Nice run up the middle. Brings him down. Call it a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. He's at the 20, inside the 10. Touchdown, Utah State! Now you're looking at someone who makes a defense nervous because not every quarterback can break off a run like that. He's a real talent. Trying to get within a field goal. They'll try the point after. And he tacks on the extra point. A seven-play, 80-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. They can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. USC holds a field goal lead. And they get nice yardage on that run. That makes it second and six. It's second and six. Ball of the 29. And he's tackled at about the 29 yard line. Fires out to his wideout. They'll bring him down around the 38-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 38-yard line. He fights forward to about the 40. That's good for a gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. Quick throw out to the receiver, and he's taken down at midfield. From midfield, it's first down. He makes his way to about the 42. That's a gain of eight on the play. That makes it second and two. Double tight, double tight. Four down, four down. Let's go, let's go. USC has a three-point lead. Ready, 
Now he's scrambling. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. He's tackled at about the 23-yard line. This is the eighth play of the drive. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Strike to his receiver, no good. From the 23 yard line, second down. Quick pass, and he is drilled at the 15. Tenth play of the drive. Big play, and it's first and goal. Besides going deep on the fade, the slant route is probably the most commonly run route against man coverage. If the receiver gets a good inside release, it'll be a new set of downs every time. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. They bring him down in the backfield. The Trojans use their second timeout. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. We're at the 12th play of the drive. USC is up a field goal. He fights forward to about the seven. Call it a gain of two yards. That makes it third and goal. Let's see how the quarterback handles this one. It's third and goal from the seven. Three down, three down. Shot, red, 68, red, 68. Fires to his tight end, nothing doing. Number 88 was the intended receiver on the play. That brings up fourth and goal. The kick is up, and it's through the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. What a collision! Kickoff returns 24 yards. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. They'll give it off here. He gets out to about the 25-yard line, and he gets a yard on the run. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. Looks middle, he got his back. Not much there on the screenplay. No gain on the play. Third down. Here's third and nine. Ball on their own 25. Again with the run, got the corner. He gets out to about the 37-yard line. So the Aggies are going to call their second timeout. He heaves it deep. The defender had it and then dropped it. Boy, this is a great play by the safety to be able to be in a position to make this play. But he's got to be able to hold on to the football. You know, he's a big, physical, athletic guy. But you've got to be able to secure a football and make a big play when it presents itself. Up the middle for a nice game. Utah State's called their final timeout. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. 
One more play now before we hit halftime, so they'll most likely throw one towards the end zone here. He's under some heat. We've got a great game here, folks, as we reach the end of the first half. The Trojans in front by six. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Steve Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. One thing has been apparent in this first half that we just saw. Both defensive coordinators a step ahead of their counterparts on offense. They've had the answer for every formation, every shift, every movement, every motion that they've tried to come up with. So, to try to break free and get something moving on offense, might it be time to show a little trickeration? A little trickeration never hurt nobody. I mean, it's it's something that if you keep doing what you've been doing, you're gonna keep getting what you've been getting. And you gotta find a way to do something a little bit different because it wasn't working. Let's find some new plays in that book. Let's Let's run a little bit of option. Let's run us a reverse. Let's run some double passes. How about we bring a blitz with everybody? Just don't even cover anybody. Just bring everybody. Bring the house. You know, try to do something a little bit out of the ordinary. Try to get a spark going for your ball club. That's going to do it at halftime. Just about ready to start the second half. All right, you finish it up, but I'm going to get something in the cafeteria. I'm hungry. But wait, wait, don't leave until you get my order. Brad, Kirk, take the second half. Boy, I hope the second half's as good as the first. Just about set to start the third quarter in a tight one. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Now he tries to buy some time. And he's level at the 28-yard line. Call his own number on that one. I like the idea of trying to run here, but the defense really made him pay the price for trying to run. That's right, baby. They don't want it. Check 26, check 26. Quick strike to the receiver, and he hits him hard at the 48-yard line. There you go. Good read by the quarterback to give the offense a new set of downs. If the defense wants to line up and man, work that slant route until they stop it. There he goes. Nice run there. 16, the ball carrier. That's a game of seven on the play. That'll make it second and four. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Gain of six yards. That makes it first and ten. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Loss of one on the play. That'll bring up second and eleven. It's second and eleven. Ball on the forty. Well, as they take a look at that injury on the sideline, let's see what this backup can do at quarterback. Caught, and he's hit immediately. Number 16 makes the tackle at the yard line. Throws this one out to the left. He's hit and taken down. Number 26 makes the tackle at the six-yard line. That makes it first and goal. He's taken down at the five. Makes the tackle. That's a game of one on the play. That brings up second and goal. Fires quickly. Touchdown! He stepped up and threw a touchdown pass to his wideout. Yep, good job of protection, and the quarterback spotted his man.
The kicker on the field. He'll try to put his team up by a point. And he converts the extra point. So the Aggies lost a player to an earlier injury. And unfortunately, it doesn't look like he's going to be able to come back today. Looks like they're ready for the kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Boy, a golden opportunity missed by the defense. That was a sure interception only to be dropped. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 25. Makes the catch and look out. Very good tackle in space. at the 45. From their own 45-yard line, first down. Brought down at the 45-yard line. it on the pitch and he carries the ball for a nice game call it a gain of four yards that makes it second and six from the 41 yard line it's second down tackle made around the 31 yard line Setting up blockers or running backs. Got it on the screen. Knocked out of bounds at the 26-yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. That brings up second and five. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. That's a gain of four on the play. That'll bring up third and inch. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Here's play number 10 on the drive. It's caught first down and he's out of bounds. down and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Touchdown Southern Cal. Nice time to use the fullback there. I've always liked when teams mix it up and give the fullback the ball in goal line situations. If the big bruiser can't get you a couple of yards, you don't deserve to get in. So the offense is going to go for two. And they won't get the two. USC gets set to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. 
And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Man, both offenses here in this third quarter have been on fire. Time for the defense to step to the forefront a little bit. Makes you wonder which of these defenses has the ability to come up and make a stop. It could be one of those games where whichever defense comes up with that stop could be the team that wins the game. This offense did really well with the air attack on their last trip out there. Let's see if they can do the same thing here. I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And one thing is that any defensive coordinator will tell you in the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heels. from their own 20-yard line. Second down. He's scrambling. And down he goes at the 20. That makes it third and 15. They go to the ground game. And they make the stop at the 30. This guy just made those 10 yards look easy. That's three down and one to go. The Trojans lead is five. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Gets to about the 41-yard line. Well, this is a competitive game. It's fun to watch these two teams go back and forth. Just when you think one team has the edge, the other gets right back into it. This is exciting. So this game tight here in the fourth quarter, but now it's a chance for them to put this thing away. Quick out to his receiver. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 39-yard line. It's first and ten. Ball on the 39. And he just gets rid of it. Taken down right around the 30. Gain of nine yards. That'll make it third and one. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike, number 15. Mike, Mike, Green Got an opening. Gains his way to the 16-yard line. Around the 15-yard line. Gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 15. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. He gets out to about the 12-yard line. Here's a screen pass, gets it to the back. You've got to wonder here early in the fourth quarter if that stop and a play like that might be the momentum swing this team needs to win it. Fourth and one. They're going to go for the easy three here.
It's up, and it is good. USC ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Just under three to go in regulation. Fires out to his wideout. He's knocked out of bounds at the 30-yard line. Call it a gain of five yards. That brings up second and five. Quick throw, and he is drilled at the 44-yard line. Gain of 14 on the play. First down. Mark 55! Mark 55! All you get is a headache! All you get is a headache! Hey, left three! Left three! Number eight with the reception. Gain of five on the play. That brings up second and five. Mike 55! Mike 55! Hey, eat, 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 eat! All day, just like that, just like that. Ready! Ready. Hey, number three, number three. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. They'll bring him down right around the 44-yard line. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That makes it first and ten. Looks middle, got his back. And he's tackled to the 37-yard line. The quarterback was just lucky to get that pass off. He was under a lot of pressure in the pocket. Good decision here. Nice dump off. It's only seven yards, but the offense will take that play every time. Fires out to his receiver. He's taken down at the 27. First down. From the 27-yard line. It's first down. He's going to try and scramble. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. Tackle at about the 15-yard line. That's good for a gain of 12 yards. First down. A little over a minute in the game. Nice run, and he's brought down. That makes it second and six. Looks like someone got a head start on the line. False start, offense. That penalty will move him back a bit. Yeah, with so many young guys out it's there, it's bound to happen occasionally. From the 16-yard line, second down. Mike 55, Mike 55. Ready. 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 Utah State's going to take their first time out of the half. He holds on to it and gets maybe two yards. He was playing the run all the way and was able to stop him quickly. Good job by that senior safety. Quick pass. That's a huge, huge stop here in the fourth quarter. They've got the lead. They're going to get the football back, but there's still a lot of ball left. This could be it, fellas. It's fourth down. And if they don't convert here, then the game is over. He's on the run. He lost the ball, and now it's recovered by the receiver. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. to about the 11-yard line. Utah State will take their last time out. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 11. Let's go. 
Takes it out to maybe the 13-yard line. A two-yard run by the halfback. This linebacker's had a couple years of experience, and he's really solidified himself as a reliable tackler, as you can see from that last stop. USC holds an eight-point advantage. He makes it to the 15-yard line. USC's team right now aware that they are a team. Hey, they're starting to shine today. Everybody else picked up the pace, though. I think we all came in expecting to see that star player really shine. And, and the fact that they didn't have a great game from him and still won the football game, boy, I walk away from this game as a viewer just thinking even that much more about this team than maybe what I thought prior to the football game. 